What's up, everyone? Um, yeah, it's true. My parents got coronavirus. Crazy. Um, they're both down in Australia right now because my dad was shooting a movie down there. Yeah, that's right. Chet Hanks, the man no one knew was even the son of A-list actor Tom Hanks, well, he revealed to the world that his father has been diagnosed with the coronavirus. That's along with his wife, Rita Wilson. Now, our thoughts and our prayers, they go to them and all of those affected. Now, this whole coronavirus thing, it's mind-blowing. It's one thing to see a number on the news, but then when you hear about celebrities, we feel like we know already that they've contracted the virus. Well, it brings it a lot closer to home, which isn't the point. You want to keep this thing as far away from you as possible. From the sporting world to influencers and A-list actors, it seems no one is safe. Now, people, they're going to extreme lengths to make sure that they don't catch the coronavirus. I saw a few videos circulating online, people doing public transportation, they're playing it really safe. Now the coronavirus is made for some really interesting content online. And for those who just so happen to be coming down with the flu, well, it's really bad timing. They're being treated like lepers and they're being put on quarantine. <coughs> it's just an upper respiratory oh, yeah. infection and a high fever, it's nothing. I'm working on a oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. oh, 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 no matter where you turn, you're going to be hearing a whole lot more about the coronavirus over the next couple weeks. So we decided that we would put a list together of the famous people who have already tested positive. What's going on guys, it's boy Michael McCrudden and this uh, list is in no particular order. Now for those watching, please be safe. If you're feeling sick, stay home. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Alright, let's get into this list video. First up in the number 5 spot, we got Rita Wilson and Tom Hanks. Now the pair, they're currently on Australia's Gold Coast in Queensland, where he's shooting a movie with director Baz Luhrmann about the life of Elvis Presley. Now Hanks, he announced on social media on Thursday with the following post. Hello folks, Rita and I are down here in Australia. We felt a bit tired and we had colds and some body aches. Rita had some chills that came and went, slight fevers too, to play things right as is needed in the world right now, well we were tested for the coronavirus and were found to be positive. Well now, what to do next? The medical officials have protocols that must be followed. We Hanks will be tested, observed, and isolated for as long as public health and safety requires. Not much more for it than a one day at a time approach. We'll keep the world posted and updated. Take care of yourselves, Hanks. Now with son Chet, he was quick to jump on the gram to share a message with a wider audience. I just got off the phone with them. Uh, they both are fine. They're not even that sick. They're not worried about it. They're not tripping, but they're going through the necessary health precautions, obviously. But uh, I don't think it's anything to be too worried about. I appreciate um, everyone's concern and the well wishes, but um, I think it's all gonna be all right. I like that guy, Chet. He seems like a cool dude. I love him on Shameless. Now, once the news reached the US that one of America's most beloved actors had tested positive for the virus, well, many other entertainers, they wanted to send good vibes to the couple. Marlon Wayans, he wrote on Hanks' Instagram, you always gotta be first. First Emmy winner, first Oscar winner, first Hollywood coronavirus. That one was mine, damn it. Curses. Get well soon, brother. He also added, I love you tremendously, praying for you and wifey. Always my nizzle. Damn, Marlon Wayans. He wins best comment of the year. We also saw Please Take Care from Reese Witherspoon and Sending Love from Jack Black. All right, next up in the number four spot, we got Rudy Gobert. Ru Rudy Gobert? It's French, I hope that's how you say it. Now of all the major sports, basketball is the most susceptible to the coronavirus due to the body on body contact. And over the course of a few possessions, well, it's likely that all five guys on one team will have some kind of physical brush with a player on the other team. Now all 30 NBA teams can be connected in just five days. That's why as soon as it was announced that the Utah Jazz Center Rudy Gobert had tested positive, well the league, they made the tough but obvious decision to suspend the season, which is crazy. I just went to a Leaf game and I'm lucky I did because it's like the last sporting event that's gonna happen in the foreseeable future. No video has since surfaced of Rudy touching all the microphones of reporters in the arena's media room before his official diagnosis. There's also a video of him touching the next player on our list. Coming in at number three, we have Donovan Mitchell, who is the second NBA player to test positive. Now, following Rudy's diagnosis, the entire team and organization of the Utah Jazz, well, they were all tested, and Donovan, well, he was the only member who tested positive. So he probably really regrets that bit of brotherly love. You know what I mean? Now Donovan, he has since spoken out where he stated, thanks to everyone who has been reaching out since hearing the news about my positive test. 
We are all learning more about the seriousness of the situation and hopefully people can continue to educate themselves and realize that they need to behave responsibly both for their own health and for the well-being of those around them. I appreciate the authorities in Oklahoma who were helpful with the testing process and everyone from the Utah Jazz who have been so supportive. I'm gonna keep following the advice of our medical staff and hope that we can all come together and be there for each other and our neighbors who need our help. With the suspension of the season, all other NBA players, they've been instructed to self-isolate themselves for the next 14 days. We're talking the NHL, the MLS, and plenty of other massive events like Coachella, they've all been put on hold. Seriously, this is like some historic stuff. All right, coming in the number two spot, we got Logan Paul's buddy, Mike Majlak. I believe that's how you say his name. I'm really trying here. I just don't know it. Now in a recent vlog, Mike, he was coming down with a pretty serious chest cold. Why are you getting this again? Come closer. <laughs> Yeah, all right. It's really just a chest cold. Are you sure? Upper respiratory blockage and a fever? What would I be so worried about? It's not like there's a global virus going around and those are the two core symptoms. <laughs> so this morning, I tried to prank Mike with plastic wrap when he walked outside of his room, but unfortunately, it did not work. Now, the timing to get a cold, it couldn't be any worse. And the Logan Paul household, well, it's a pretty big business. Everyone there, they need to be on their A game. So naturally, the team, they put their heads together and they decided to lock Mike up. That's right, they put him in quarantine. A makeshift one, but it looks like it's gonna work. You're sick! Get me out! Stay back. Are you sure about that? You are infected! I mean, 14 days is a long time to be sitting in your room, so I hope at least they allow Lana Rhodes to pay him a visit. You know, it'd be tough to be away from your sweetheart. Maybe they can figure out some bubble boy situation. I don't know. All right, let's move on. All right, finally in the number one spot, I'm gonna talk about a dude who doesn't have the coronavirus, but he deserves to catch it after the stunt he pulled. Now the headline it reads, aspiring SoundCloud rapper charged after coronavirus stunt leads to plane grounding. Now his name is James Poddock, and he goes by the name of Poddock Felipe. Anyway, this dude, he was on a flight with 250 people. He was heading to Jamaica. Then he decided it would be a good idea to tell his fellow passengers, I just came back from the Hunan province, the capital of the coronavirus. I'm not feeling too well. And I looked around. I saw the reception of the people. They didn't seem too happy about it. I don't blame them. Uh, and then I stopped recording and I sat back down. Kids these days, Toronto kids especially, They'll be doing anything for clout. Now the flight, it was turned around and he was handed over to the police where he was charged with mischief. Now his goal was to have the video make it to Six Buzz. That's a popular Instagram page here in Toronto. That page has about 1.2 million followers. And I guess if he had a video on there, he'd get like 100,000 views, 200,000. People in Toronto would know who he was, but for all the wrong reasons. He literally wanted to be the Toronto chair girl, but he failed. Damn. This is crazy. I decided to look this dude up and he's got around a thousand subscribers on YouTube, just over 34,000 on Instagram and 216 fans on SoundCloud. So it looks like he didn't get the boost in followers that he was hoping for. He did land himself on the local news, but even that wasn't a good look. I was looking to, to create a video, yes, that, was, that would go viral, mm. yeah. For what purpose though, to go viral? I'm an artist. Any publicity for myself is good publicity. Now there have been a ton of other influential people who have tested positive. This includes the Brazilian president and he had someone in his cabinet who was in recent contact with Donald Trump. There's been two football players from Denmark, another two from Germany, four in Italy and a Spanish basketball player at least. There's probably more. Again, our thoughts and our prayers, they go to everyone affected. Now this is a very serious time. If you are feeling sick, please stay home. Um, and if anyone has been affected by this, uh, we wish you all the best. This is very scary. So be safe. My name is Michael Crudden, you already know that. We make all sorts of videos here on this channel. Sometimes we'll do a top five. We did do a before they were famous on the coronavirus. If you wanna know more about it, check that video out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Boom! I mean, boom! I mean, boom! There you go.